Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. So, as you can see, I've got my lovely, whoa, <laughs> lovely little table set up here for fall. So, basically, I did this setup behind me and then after I did it, of course, I'm like, dang it, I should have filmed myself doing this because it turned out so cute. It turned out so much cuter than I thought it was going to. So I thought I'd still do a video and just show y'all what it looks like and kind of give you some info on where to get all the stuff and tell you how I did it. So, and I'm going to link all the products down in the description below. So click the arrow and then you can click straight on the link and it'll take you to Amazon right to the product and you can buy it. Basically, I've been seeing these really pretty pictures on like Pinterest and stuff of tablescapes that look kind of like this. And I just thought they looked so gorgeous. So my old table setting just looked really cheap. I'm pretty sure I got everything from the Dollar Tree. I don't know. I just didn't feel like it was really my style anymore. Like, you know how your taste changes, I guess. And I was not really feeling it. So, so I was like, I really want to try to make one of these gorgeous rustic looking table settings just like enjoy in my house for myself for fall. Yeah. Well, I want to see my color. Hey. Went on Amazon. Pretty much everything on this table came from Amazon. The only thing that did not come from Amazon are these little white pumpkins that have the flowers in them. And I'm gonna tell y'all. Those actually are part of my decor from last year and the year before and the year before, I think, the last like four years. I made these from the styrofoam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and some flowers from the Dollar Tree. So easy. So I'll tell y'all how I did that. So basically, this is, y'all, this is a styrofoam pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. Like, see, I didn't even paint the bottom. Bought the styrofoam pumpkin. Come on. Okay, so. As y'all can see, literally, like, I painted the pumpkin white. Y'all, I bought these, like, fall-colored flowers from the Dollar Tree as well. And then I just snipped them, shoved them right down into the styrofoam. Just like that. So easy and so cheap, y'all. I mean, come on, Dollar Tree. So, anyways, these I had made a few years ago. These are the only things that, like I said, didn't come from Amazon. So these I made. I put down this table runner, which I will link everything in the description below. This table runner I put down first. Then I got this floral garland type stuff. And I think it was called eucalyptus and willow leaves. So it's two separate strands. And then I just kind of twisted them together a little bit. And whoop, candle came on. Hello. Just cut you off, by the way. How neat. We'll get to those in a minute. So like I said, I twist them together and then I just kind of like snaked them around. Then we take our pretty little Dollar Tree pumpkin DIY, hey, and we put them plop, 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 just like that. Then after I laid those out, I got my candles. No, back up, sorry. I set this, whatchamacallit, big wooden like slab. Like it looks like a chunk of a stump chunk of a stump, 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 stump chunk. Plopped it in the middle. Then this vase I got off Amazon. Flowers I got off Amazon. How gorgeous. And this was surprisingly cheap. These vases, I did not realize y'all, are out stinking rageous. This was like the cheapest one I could find. And I was scared it was gonna be too little, but it turned out to be perfect. Flowers, like I said, gorgeous. I even got this wreath off Amazon too. So I'll link that as well. But back to this. Plop the stump down, vase, flowers. Then all that was left was my candles. So I got these candlesticks and they came in a set of six. So I didn't have to buy like two separate sets. Came with two of the talls. Let me back up so y'all can see. So it came with two tall, two medium, too short. And that's how I arranged them. I put the tall in the middle, the medium next to the flower, and then the shortest ones on the ends. Then, these candles, y'all, are amazing. So, they come with, where are you? 
So they come with this remote. You can see where my daughter has been coloring on the table. Lovely. Um, so it came with this remote. It's got on and off two hour, four hour, six hour, eight hour timer. It also has two modes. So watch this. Let's cut them on just so y'all can see. So it has a candle mode or just a light mode. So if you click on candle, it kind of flickers. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me cut the brightness down some. Maybe y'all can see better. Do you see it flickering? So it kind of flickers in candle mode. If you just press light, then it just stays on and it doesn't. Just stays on and it doesn't flicker. Personally, hey, there's a fly on my candle. You better back up. So I like the candle mode just because I like it to look more real and I like it to flicker. So that's what I do. And you can also change at the bottom the brightness. But how cool. So I wanted some candles that obviously weren't going to burn down and just get like messy looking because I wanted it to stay nice and neat all the way through Thanksgiving. And I also, because of the kids, didn't want like live candles, live candles, real candles, fire, didn't want fire, real fire on the table where the kids could like get hurt. And I also just wanted something that was easy that would just come on and go off by itself that I didn't have to light every single night, like go light six candles and then blow out six candles. So y'all, this is awesome. Look how realistic they look. They look so real, so pretty. No maintenance once you get it done the first time. Just awesome. And they fit perfectly, perfectly in these candle holders. So the last thing is the pumpkins, which by the way, I think makes it. Um, so these are just three separate bags of pumpkins I bought. So the white ones all came in one bag and it came with a few different sizes. The green ones all came in one bag and then these velvety orange ones. How stinking cute, y'all. Look at this. They're like velvety. How cute. These came in another bag. These are like the pretty like rustic gold looking stem. And then the white ones are just like more realistic pumpkin texture with a little gray stem. But anyways, how cute y'all. So I just kind of scattered my pumpkins throughout, tried to make it not identical on both sides, but balanced, like asymmetrical. Um, and then these are the only other things. That's the last thing I put in. I just kind of plopped two of these, one on that side, one on that side. And they're wooden. They have like a glitter, little glitter edge on them. But they're wooden, just little leaves for fall. And I think I got those y'all at Target for like $3 in the little dollar section a few years ago. So, and that is it, y'all. That is all I did. Y'all can do this. Y'all can do this same setup so easily at your house. I promise. Just try it. Like, when you first start laying it out, you might be thinking... This is going to look awful. I don't know what I'm doing. And then it just like came together the more I added. And especially the pumpkins. Like once you start spreading the pumpkins out, it's just like, oh, so cute. There y'all have it. I know this video is a little different and kind of annoying because I'm just talking and not showing you. Um, like I said, I wish I would have showed you before, but oh well, it's already done. I didn't want to mess it up and redo it. So like I said, I will link everything on this table down in the description below. You can buy it through Amazon. Y'all enjoy your cute little fall tablescape. All right. Don't forget to hit like if you like this video. I'll subscribe if you want to see more. All right. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.